Hey, this is Sean Wickens again, back with another installment of 31-ish horror films of October. I made a uh, little graphic for it. 31-ish horror films of October. So, let's see. Today I watched Beast in the Cellar, picked randomly. Uh, and uh, it's a British film. It kind of starts out a bit like American Werewolf in London, a little of the same setup. There's an attack on the Moors, except instead of uh, Americans uh, traveling across Europe, it's some uh, British soldiers. So quickly the soldier is found, and there's some investigators there. Uh, somebody asks um, the coroner to hypothesize what did this uh, human animal or animal animal, and uh, the guy says it might have been a leopard. A leopard in Lancashire? Uh, that's a, a funny line there. Um, and then it gets very un-werewolf in London. Uh, we quickly meet two older women. And, uh, you know, by this time we've seen the beast. Do these two women own a cellar, perhaps? Uh, and uh, we see them um, talk about... Uh, they, they gossip about... Um, the murder that happened on the uh, army base. Uh, they argue about celery. They're out of celery. Someone was supposed to pick up celery for lunch. Celery is a big thing. And then uh, they talk randomly about their father, who turned in uh, into kind of a monster after he got back from World War One. So may this all be foreshadowing, you know? Uh, do they have a cellar? Uh, then we see another soldier killed. Um, we see the old woman again, and uh, one of them found celery in the garden. There's more celery talk in this film uh, than any horror film I've ever seen. Uh, and then there's a third murder, and uh, the murders always take place like this. Ah! 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 With somebody squirting blood on the actor playing the uh, murdered chap, soldier. Um... Eventually we see the cellar, it's more of a dungeon. Um, uh, uh, the ladies are sort of um, questioned once they uh, follow the scent of the beast to that house. And eventually they admit, you know, oh, well, we kind of created the monster. It wasn't their father, it's a, a little bit of a twist. And, uh, you know, they admit that they created the monster and the authorities are say, uh, sort of like, um, okay, good night, thanks for the info, and they leave. Um, and... Uh, that's, I guess it sort of shows the effect of war on people. Uh, you know, uh, I've read that post-World War II, Great Britain was a very different place. It was sort of like you really felt the effects of the war uh, there since it was on their doorstep, you know. I guess it plays with a little bit of that. I guess there was like a kind of a psycho influence in a way instead of Norman Bates caring for a dead mother. Spoiler, spoiler alert, uh, there's two elderly women who are caring for their monster. Um, and uh, I guess if you are a fan of Grey Gardens, this is the horror film for you. There is a little bit of a Grey Garden element in these uh, two elderly women. And um, I read up about the two lead actresses. Uh, one was nominated for a Golden Globe, one was nominated for an Oscar. Um, I didn't look and see if it was before or after this film. And um, interesting trivia, they were both upset by the final cut because they felt a, a lot of their uh, best performances were edited out. Anyway, Beast in the Cellar from 1970. Not the greatest movie, but it's there for somebody. Somebody out there would love it. Like I said, if you like Great Gardens, this is the horror film for you. Uh... Well, thanks for watching. If you have recommendations of films, I might uh, stray from the random things on Amazon Prime. But there it is. 31-ish horror films of October. Another one in the can.